Welcome everyone to the channel. How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. This is Easy Gamer. So today we're going to take a look at another look <coughs> at a dev blog in War Thunder for the next upcoming major update. So before we get started, don't forget to hit that like, dislike, comment, share and subscribe, please. We keep you informed on War Thunder, War Thunder gameplay, and we preview other war games and strategy games and RTS games on the other on this channel. So go check out our other videos. So, like usual, we're going to start off with the video, and as you can see, it's quite a weird machine. So, it can only be one nation that makes weird and wonderful, wacky things. So, let's play the video. It might be a bit loud, sorry, but uh, yeah. And then we will go through what they say about the vehicle. And then I'll tell you if I know anything about the vehicle, I'll add some information in. So, let's get it on. Okay, that's the end of the video. So it's a Swedish vehicle. Um, it's the PBV 302 Bell. 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 Scandinavia. If I'm saying that right, fertility. So, what is it? It's basically an APC that they just stuck an ADG, ATGM to it. So the PBV302 uh, is a Swedish APC developed in the mid-1960s as a replacement to the <coughs> outdated PV, PBV301. Soon tankers in War Thunder will have the chance to command it, blah, blah, blah. We've read that. A brief and experimental version of a widely used Swedish APC converted into a tank hunter thanks to the installation of an ATGM launcher. Um, okay, so it's Sweden. Powerful ATGM launcher, 20mm autocannon, and Phibius light protection. Yeah, well, it's an APC. It's what many countries do with some APCs, what they've got like a shitload around, especially older ones. They just slap something newer onto it to give it a, a bit more of an extended life. So it's a way to save costs and that for countries. We'll just read through. I just want to know what type of ATGM does it have on it. 20mm um, Acon M47D cannon. A standy, standard feature, a high rate of fire, good ballistic properties. The cannon provides an excellent solution to countering other light hostile vehicles or even low-flying aircraft helicopters. However, the tanker tankers are best advice to not attack more heavily armored vehicles head on at least not with the auto cannons yeah well this is similar to the one that we already got in game so i presume the cannon will be more or less the same i don't see anything really different um okay here we go um missile launcher found on the strv 9040 the rbs 59 is not your typical anti-tank missile Instead, the RBS-56 is a top, top attack missile, meaning it detonates on top of the vehicle. Above the target, this causes the uh, to penetrate to occur at uh, usually less armored parts of combat vehicles. This treacher also allows the missile to be fired on vehicles hiding behind cover and terrain, since the missile can easily fly over and still yeah so basically it's just a missile that flies over that's why you see a lot of these russian tanks and countries putting um zincs and like looks like your fence from outside your yard your pelicide fence and that on top so if that thing detonates it's supposed to hit that first so it doesn't uh, destroy the tank because your weakest armor is on the top the whole top side of your tank is the lowest armor <clears throat> that's why drones in um, the Azerbaijan war and the Ukraine uh, Russia war and all these little wars where they're using drones now drones have been very effective in knocking out tanks because the lack of armor up there so now everyone's running around looking for ideas to solve this but moral of the story in my opinion the age of the tank is gone now we're in the age of the drone and yeah that's my view on it a fun fact the 20 millimeter cannon found on the PVP PBV-302 was previously used on the Saab J-1 
29 jet and were simply repurposed once the later were decommissioned and scrapped okay so they just took this auto cannon stuck it on the j29 jet and they said there we go also a way to save costs um when south africa was buying the mirages from france the last set of mirages before we went over to the cheetah family of jets um, we gave in a whole lot of centurions mark threes i think it was i can't remember precisely to say the exact same amount we gave them in for a bit of a lower price on the mirages so it's ways companies and countries cut costs by like i said earlier taking stuff and just adding it onto something else to try to save some costs and i've got an idea in the times we're living in we're going to see a lot of that happening bringing out older vehicles refurbishing them and mounting new equipment on them like the bmps you you, you can take that vehicle far there's a lot you can do with it uh, what's that mbt thing that the russians got that troop little transport thing so there's a lot you can do with older equipment that can still be used um, just need to do some modifications and can go it's cheaper and all of that being a light vehicle means that the pvv3 302 bull bull doesn't feature any notable form of protection it's 20 to 25 millimeter of frontal armor plating ensures adequate protection against machine gun fire and shrapnel but won't be effective enough to stop a high powered auto cannon and anti-tank ammunition on the other hand the light protection also results in a rather low weight of just 14 tons yeah okay so it's going to be a bit nifty but oh we forgot to do look at the pictures sorry guys so it's gonna be a bit nippy around corners but one thing i've learned especially playing the other one that's already in game the high silhouette <coughs> it's an easy target also playing the family of the the rattles and that high silhouette it's an easy target to pick up over pressure over here because i'm sure your crews are all full out in this area so yeah um I think it will be a I like it really I do it's nice seeing these vehicles I mean they've been used for so many projects in the Swiss army and um, right around the world countries use these things as test beds for development of new equipment because it was a reliable chassis a good suspension um, good reliable vehicle good engine so it was used for a lot of experimental vehicles as well take this camera yeah that's pretty cool Genuine Swiss camo, I would presume. With Sweden. Sweet, sweet. Very nice, very nice. Very interesting vehicle. Got a long history. Served in many countries for a very long time. So I'm really... And then they just advertising the Swedish um, CV 1910 of 10.5. $10 uh, $60. So if you want to sell your house quickly and then buy it go ahead you get 15 days premium 2000 golden eagles sell your house and then um you'll be able to get it but my opinion don't tell anybody just wait for a special then you buy it try for 50 percent off um, yeah that would be far better <coughs> so i'm liking this any changes to the game anything new it's gonna bring no nothing at all um it's just gonna be one of those vehicles they're gonna put in the swiss line um not against it the swiss line needs a lot of work needs more vehicles to come in to try balance it out but i'm liking this this is very nice so yeah don't forget to hit that like dislike comment share subscribe and let me know what you if you like this and don't forget to go check me out on discord it's easy 12 gamer 12 as the name says and it's hashtag 90011 also don't forget to go check out logan munion dragon ball z and all of those game stuff and then go check out Maverick Rewind as well. He does a lot of War Thunder videos and yeah, a lot of those videos, mixture of War Thunder videos. So go give him a check, give him a like, comment, a share, and a subscribe. And same for Logan Munion. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And keep well. I'll see everyone in the next one. And yeah, keep well. Cheers.